Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a Kansas courtroom where a sovereign citizen attempts to go pro se and, well, she doesn't know how anything works and, and it kind of goes the way you would expect it to go only with a bit more of a flare at the end when a pair of shiny new bracelets comes to make an appearance on her behalf. Well, not her, be her behalf, but you get the point. So at any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. State versus Ashley Clark, 22 CR 216. Mr. Fosgrove? No. Your Honor, this comes before the court today on a probation violation hearing. Um, and it's the intent of the defendant at this time to stipulate. Um, and I do believe there's a agreed um, sentence, as you would say in this case. All right. Um, Ms. Clark, you've heard the announcement of your attorney. Is that what you want to do? Admit to the violations? Um, no, actually, I'm going to make a motion for my attorney to withdraw. I got this myself. Oh, so you had this whenever you had that probation violation, and now you had this whenever uh, the your attorney managed to get you that good deal to help you out, and now you fired your attorney, so now you're going to go pro se on this. Yeah, you got this, don't you? Gee, I wonder what Miss Smooth Brain Soft Sit will do here for an encore. So let's go ahead and see what happens next because this should be very entertaining. Oh, okay. Um, what's the reason for that? Uh, I just want to represent myself. Okay. All right. Well, somebody give her a waiver of attorney form. Okay. It's muted for some reason. All right. Um, well, I've already gone over these rights with you, so you should understand them. But uh, you uh, have the right to hire your own attorney. If you can't afford to hire an attorney, I've already appointed one. You qualified. Uh, you do have the right to represent yourself as well. And that's what you want to do today? Yes, sir. All right. Um, if you want to waive your right to an attorney, I mean, uh, when we do this, you have to follow the raw rules of procedure and evidence. This is if you're an attorney. You understand that? Yes, sir. All right. Has anyone promised you anything or threatened with anything to get you to waive your right to an attorney? No, sir. All right. Looks like you've already signed it and sent it in here. Did you understand this form you signed? Yes, sir. I'll accept your waiver and allow you to represent yourself. Uh, all right. Are you wanting to um, stipulate to the violations or do you want a contested hearing? I'm going to contest it. All right. Mr. Hollis here. Yes, Judge, I can grab him real quick. Okay. Okay. State has the burden. Any opening statement, Mr. Marcinski? No, sir. Thank you. All right. Ms. Clark, any opening statement? Um, no. Oh, so you don't have an open argument to deal with, huh? Uh, you have a uh, rock solid evidence that doesn't even need an opening argument to proceed with. Oh, that's just wonderful. But let's see what the prosecution has in their favor. Maybe you have something to counter the, uh, claims of your uh probation officer all right uh state may call this first witness thank you sir the state would call court service officer christopher hollis sir will you please state your name for the record chris hollis i'm a court services officer in that job up job occupation were you assigned the supervision of a miss ashley clark that supervision being for an endangering a child underlying 12 month sentence that is correct. On uh, May 18th of this year, 2023, did you um, test Miss Clark for the presence of drugs? Yes. And what was the result of that UA sample from Miss Clark? It was positive for methamphetamine. They so her she... UA was positive for methamphetamines, and she also, in response to that positive UA test, signed in a, uh, a statement of admission of using methamphetamines? 
That's correct. Did you order her to report on June 2nd, 2023? I did. And did she appear on that day? She did not. Has she appeared uh, or reported to you since that time? No. Sometime after May 24th of 2023, were you advised by local authorities of her being arrested for a new crime? Yes, and I, I did. I received that, and uh, apparently she has new charges. To your knowledge or to the notes, did Ms. Clark ever report that negative law enforcement contact with your office? No, she did not. Uh, that will be my questions for Mr. Hollis at this time, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, Ms. Clark, do you have any questions for Mr. Hollis? No. Hey, wait a second here. Uh, don't you know the procedure here, uh, Ms. Smoothbrain? Uh, you know you're supposed to ask the uh, witness questions so you can try to debunk the uh, claims of the witness. Uh, you're not doing this right. Maybe you're playing three-dimensional chess here, and we just don't understand uh, what your moves are at this point. Yeah, that's got to be it. Yeah, I'm sure that's got to be it. Otherwise, you should not have uh, fired your attorney. All right. Do you have any further evidence or witnesses, Mr. Marcinski? Not at this time, Your Honor. I do not. All right. Uh, Ms. Clark? Uh, you, you have time to, uh, it, now it's your turn to present any evidence if you want to. Do you wish to present any evidence? Um, right now, I see no evidence. Uh, this has the needed personal subject matter argument. jurisdiction. If you want to present any evidence, do you want to present any evidence? No. No? Okay. Well then, closing argument, Mr. Marcinski. Your Honor, at this time, the state believes it has shown by a preponderance of the evidence that Ms. Clark is in violation of her probation and conditions of probation in court by the, imposed by the court therein. The state's going to ask that you find that she be um, that you find that she is in violation of that probation. The state would point out that this is a misdemeanor probation for endangering a child. Um, therefore, Ms. Clark is entitled to no graduated sanctions, intermediate sanctions, or other relief uh, set forth by the legislature on felony probations. Due to the litany of violations, the continued drug use, the failure to follow through with her treatment requirements, uh, the state believes that she's shown that she's not amenable to probation and where I could, would recommend the court revoke and remand her to serve her underlying sentence. All right, Ms. Clark, uh, closing argument. Okay, Ms. Smooth Brain, uh, this is your time to shine. Please give us a closing argument. Uh, at least show us something that you... Uh, could have learned from your past mistakes, especially with the jurisdiction argument that you failed to back up just moments ago. And uh, could you do a lot better than uh, your opening statement, please? Because that would be a shining light if you could do so much better than that. So please show us something that you have. Give us anything uh, because this should be a slam dunk for you should it not be because after all you would say that uh, you're not in their jurisdiction right so let's go ahead and see what she has to say um there are no facts to dispute before this court i see no evidence that has needed that has the needed personal subject matter jurisdiction uh, the state is a fictitious plaintiff. Um, the state of isn't here to testify. No injured man or woman is present before this court to provide firsthand knowledge. Um, I am acting as surety for the named principal to contest jurisdiction. I am aware this is a taxable event and an excise tax is owed, and I want to be in compliance with the IRS code. Uh, lady, you're barking up the wrong tree. The IRS has nothing to do with this. It's the state of Kansas that brought these charges on you. Oh, yeah, and once again, fail on the uh, jurisdiction argument. You are way past that now. But hey, at least the prosecutor gets to go home early, I hope, because, well, this was a really speedy uh, trial at this point. But let's go ahead and see what the outcome of this is, because I know this is going to end up with uh, some handcuffs coming out. Okay. It'll be the order and judgment of this court. Um, well, first of all, I'll make my findings. Uh, the state's uh, shown by preponderance of the evidence that uh, you violated probation in this case uh, using methamphetamine. Uh, 
uh, around the uh, 18th, as evidenced by the uh, 18th of May this year, as evidenced by the positive UA and the admission. Uh, also find that you failed to report in violation of probation as alleged. That would be the June 2nd, 2023 date. Uh, you failed to successfully complete outpatient treatment at summer mental health as ordered by the court. So I find you violated probation there as well. You also failed uh, to report law enforcement contact within the business day in violation of the orders of uh, probation. You you have violated um, it does a, in a very substantial way. Uh, I will go ahead. It appears as if probation will be a waste of time. In this matter, so I will revoke and remand you to serve her sentence, take her into custody. All right. Twelve hundred dollars every minute I'm in jail. Wow, twelve hundred dollars a minute. Uh yeah, that's not gonna work out right there, uh, Miss Smooth Brain, because you know that equals out to be roughly one point seven million dollars per 24 hour period. Yeah, do you really think the government is gonna pay you that much in terms of uh, anything? Nope, definitely not gonna happen. So you might as well just go ahead and enjoy your shiny new set of handcuffs because, well, it's not gonna work out for you in that uh, particular manner, so. But hey, at least you tried. You failed, but you tried. Maybe next time you'll learn to actually have a lawyer on hand. That way you won't get uh, railroaded like that ever again. Eh, but, well, I don't know. You, you soft, soft hearts never seem to learn anything. But hey, maybe one day you will learn. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.